Well, maybe the big change is timing. The bill passed in the legislature yesterday, but it won't take effect until January 2025. I spoke to some advocates here at the Aquarium that tell me they wish it would go into effect a little bit sooner, but it's still really good news, they tell me, for the whales. Ultimately, the bill increases the distance an unlicensed vessel must maintain from a southern resident orca from 300 to 1,000 yards. But again, it doesn't take effect until January 2025. An amendment called for more time for the Department of Fish and Wildlife to be able to educate and train boaters on the new rules. Now, commercial, commercial whale watching businesses are already required to stay a thousand yards away when the whales are deemed vulnerable. Unfortunately, for much of this year, 12 southern resident orcas have been vulnerable due to their body condition. But this bill, again, would make it year round, no stipulations. We just know that these whales need the best possible chance to catch the salmon that are out there so that they can uh, eat enough and be able to share that food with their young, which is the future of the population. Now, some critics have said the bill doesn't go far enough and should include all vessels, even commercial fishing. But Nor with the aquarium tells me studies have shown the most presence around these whales have been from recreational boats. And Nor tells me, despite the bill not the law not going into effect until another year or an, and a half or so, she tells me boaters should start getting used to what that a thousand yards look like. Those who break the law could have their license revoked or suspended. For now, reporting live here in Seattle, Angelique Hockaday, King Five. News. All right.